Oh, Fox News contributor Leo 2.0 Terrell. He was a friend of O.J. Simpson and his family, along with Alan Dershowitz. He served as a legal counsel, as a legal consultant to O.J.'s team during his murder trial. Um, all right, Leo, prior to Leo 2.0, that beautiful hat that you have on your head, there was a Leo 1.0. And there were many occasions that you were on either Hannity and Combs or Hannity, and I would ask you, how's your buddy O.J.? Is he on the golf course looking for the real killers? And you'd say, don't go there. And on a couple of occasions, if my memory serves me right, you, you would rip off your microphone, rip out your earpiece, throw it down, walk off the set, and I'd be showing an empty chair on air for viewers. Now, you won't let me show that tape. You should, because it's entertaining. But you were friends with them, and you never have answered a question that I've tried to ask you for many years. This is a serious question. And that is, do you think he did this? Well, first of all, Sean, you know, my friendship with you and, and my association with Fox News began with the O.J. Simpson case. And uh, it's been over almost 30 years. And uh, I appreciate that and respect that. And we've had discussions about the Simpson case. But let me be very clear. As And I was friends with the family. I knew the, the majority of the Dream Team. I happened to have the privilege to know Mr. Dershowitz as well. As far as the legal system, the legal system worked because the prosecution failed to prove his case. And I think the team with Cochran, Dershowitz, uh, F. Lee Bailey, Shapiro, they were able to prove reasonable doubt. Now, in the court of public opinion is another story. And as far as my personal opinion, it's not relevant. But the point is, is that the court of public opinion found Simpson guilty. In the rule of law, which we are a nation of law, the jury found an acquittal, and I, and I think everyone in this country can agree. The prosecution did a horrible job in, in pursuing their case against O.J. Simpson. That isn't really an answer to my question. Do you think, <laughs> as, as a guy that was friends with O.J. and heard all the evidence, do you think yes, your I did. friend did this? Okay, let me simply say, as, as, as much as I can, and respecting the show and you and my friendship with everyone involved. I believe that my personal opinion as to guilt or innocence is not the issue here. The issue is whether or not he, his, his acquittal was justified. And I think you got Professor Dershowitz who will tell you it's justified. And when I was on your show, I argued that point. Court of public opinion yeah. is another story. And you had Stephen A. Smith talk about his opinion as a juror, probably in a court of public opinion. But the evidence was not proven by the prosecution. Blame Marsha Clark and Chris Darden. All right, let me get your take, Professor Dershowitz. And, and for the record, you know this, Professor. I, and I won't ask you, because you were, illegal, you were legally consulting on the case, what you think in terms of guilt or innocence. I don't think that's a fair question unless you want to answer that uh, or offer that. However, you had, you know, all of the blood. You had the shoes. You had everything. Um, it seemed right. overwhelming, the evidence. It seemed incontrovertible, the evidence. Uh, certainly, the glove would... helped O.J., but m most Americans felt he was guilty. What's your reaction? Look, the evidence was overwhelming. There was a mountain of evidence of guilt. There was blood evidence. There was DNA evidence. There was only one problem. The LAPD framed what they believe was a guilty man by taking one sock, one sock, and pouring the blood of O.J. Simpson and the blood of the victim on the sock. The problem is that the man who did it, Officer Van Hatter, didn't realize that the blood he was pouring on the sock had a chemical in it called EDTA, which is not found in the human body, but found in test tubes. So we were able to prove conclusively that one piece of evidence, just the sock, had been tampered with by the government. And that created a reasonable doubt. And of course, Stephen A is absolutely right. The LAPD was on trial. The predominantly black commu uh, community and the jurors didn't trust the LAPD. And that's why it was so dangerous for Van Adder to try to enhance the evidence by creating that bloody sock, because it played right into the prejudices, perhaps, of the jurors against the LAPD. Look, 
I want to send my sincerest condolences to the Goldman family, the Brown family. They've done a phenomenal job in standing up for their relatives. And if they had called me first before the OJ team called me, I probably would have represented the Goldman or the Brown family. Lawyers defend people who need a defense. And I'm proud of the fact that I helped to expose some corruption among some police officers in the LAPD. I'm proud that I helped to disclose some of the divisiveness of the country on racial issues. And I also helped to disclose the inadequacy of the prosecution. I was sitting right next to OJ when he tried on that glove. People don't realize that under the law of California, Darden could have had him put on the glove outside the jury to see whether it fit first before making the fatal mistake. And then OJ, right in front of me, walked up to the jury and said, it's too small, it's too small. At that point, I told him he didn't have to testify because he had already made his point and he wasn't subject to cross-examination. So the bottom line is the jury reached the right verdict. That doesn't mean that O.J. Simpson didn't do it. The jury's job is to determine, based on admissible, fair, correct evidence, whether a reasonable doubt existed. There was a mountain of evidence against him, but there was one little hill on the mountain that was planted by the government, and that little hill on the mountain destroyed the government's case. And so the blame for this doesn't lie in the defense attorneys. We did our job. It lies with the LAPD, yeah. with Darden, and with Clark, and with the entire prosecutorial team. They picked Darden and Clark knowing they weren't the most qualified. They picked them for racial and gender reasons. They would never pick somebody for racial and gender reasons to fly an airplane or to be a surgeon. But they did it in this case, and it backfired. They could have had much, much better lawyers. But they decided they were going to make a racial point or a gender point. And in the end, we did our job. I'm so sympathetic with the Goldmans and, and, and the Brown family. I, I wish I could have been on their side, but I wasn't. And in the end, I think history will remember O.J. Simpson as somebody who possibly did it, but who the police we, tried uh... to frame. frame. A guilty person is something that people don't often understand, but that happens. All right, Professor, thank you. Leo? I don't think I'll ever get my answer. I'm never going to get my answer. Uh, Leo, one, maybe I'll I'm need going, Leo 5.0. Maybe coming, then I'm I'll coming, get my answer. I'm going, to, but, I'm going to Florida to have dinner with you, and we'll discuss <laughs> it in private. Deal. All right, we appreciate both of you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.